My name is Fatan Mobina, and I from Indonesia. Uh, there is a tray of jacks. Uh, then I will explain in this opportunity. The first, uh, what is VLAN? And the second is VLAN and Microtic. And the last, I'll show you implementation VLAN and Microtic. Yeah, th this is my bio. My name is Mohamed Fadan Wina and I 15 years old. And I still school in vocational high school IDN in Indonesia. And I have two certificate is MTCNA and MTCRA. And this is my view. Okay, back to topic. Introduction to VLAN. Uh, actually, there are many standardization of VLAN in the network, but most famous is 802.11 key. So, what is the difference with 802.3 internet? The difference is only addition of a 4-byte packet header in layer 2. And VLAN running in layer 2 is the data link with address to make arrays. VLAN maximum that we use are many as uh, 4095, but for VLAN IDO is not used. So why should we implement VLAN in our network? Because it can create a VLAN in one physical network that has a different subnet. Uh, usually, if we only have one internet cable, then only one network can run. Uh, but if we use the if you use the VLAN, we can run more than one network. For example, uh, uh, I have one router, and then we will connect to another router, and we put a DHCP server, hotspot, PPO server, and so we put server mode in the same router. Then we will connect to another router. If, if not using VLAN, we have to make three connections, but with VLAN we can divide the subnet into three different VLAN ID. Every single server has a different IP because of their different segments and VLAN can only communicate with same VLAN. Uh, because they run in a layer, then their broadcast is only run in layer two as well. And if wanting to communicate between VLAN, we should have a router that we will connect to with another VLAN, or usually called inter VLAN routing. In addition, Microtic also support in Microtic XO2. Key and key and AD. The difference in this key and key is that we can make the VLAN tagging or usually called native VLAN. So, general, if we don't use VLAN, we have to make a lot of configuration and we also have to lot of device. For example, we have a company uh, that has three segments. Uh, one segment wants to use three configuration. It is impossible because we have to use three switches, but if we use VLAN, we just simply a uh, single match. The advantage of VLAN in one physical interface is to is to be able to have more uh, than one network. Then VLAN makes our network become a simpler. Uh, and also, in one physical interface, it can be multi-type broadcast domain. Because 
if we want to create a large network, it's is better make a lot of domain broadcasts because we want to reduce the problem in our network. Uh, before continuing, the VLAN has two parameters that we can use in Mikrotik. Uh, the first is access port, and the second is trunk port. Uh, what is access port? Access port is partly in the switch uh, configuration in this port access. Four bytes of VLAN will be removed from packet header. So the access port four byte will not be provided to user due to be used to bypass in VLAN. For trunk but the different in VLAN still in the packet header. Furthermore, for uh, the virtual LAN in the Mikrotik, uh, in Mikrotik we can implement VLAN in layer two and layer three. While in Cisco it has own topology, there are works uh, the access layer in the layer distribution and they all are different. Mikrotik also support uh, layer two and layer three. Uh, additionally, Mikrotik can be also be used to create VLAN on the wireless network. Uh, in wireless network, we cannot use the station mode because the station mode only for routing. And the concept of key and key is philo, or usually called uh, first in, last out. Meaning that if we create tagging in VLAN 1, then we take VLAN 2, and which sold uh, be out iller is VLAN 2. If you want to, then we'll be sold at first antic VLAN 1 exit, so the purpose philo. So how to create a VLAN in Mikrotik? To create VLAN uh, on the Mikrotik requires only little configuration by adding VLAN ID and the uh, interface that will be a port VLAN. We could uh, also change some the configuration that is name of the VLAN, uh, MTU, ARP, VLAN ID, and interface. Then the user uh, check inter uh, the user service tag uh, is used for ECHO 2.1 AD. The most important thing to implement the VLAN is makes or put the VLAN interface. The, the problem is we can put physical VLAN virtual interface on in interface. Uh, here, uh, I will uh, explain about the implementation of the VLAN and uh, in virtual interface. Uh, here is an uh, example of VLAN implementation. I will explain them one by one. Uh, the first, SOHO. Uh, if we want to uh, implementation VLAN in a simple interface, that is SOHO. In this SOHO, uh, there are only one router and, and or two switch switch use our switch that can be managed. Uh, then here, there are two VLAN. Uh, the VLAN 100 with TKG name and VLAN 300 is RPL name. So what should we make from this topology? First, if you want to create a trunk port, we must create trunk in the enter other bridge to be bridge. 
For example, in this topology, we want to create the HP server. So RPL and TKG can option internet. Uh, so for the VLAN uh, interface in bridge that I create IP address and the HP setup in the in the VLAN just it. This is configuration and router one. Uh, SMA. Uh, next, this is a second case. If we have more than more than one router, we have two router and we want to make three VLAN. And example is like this. If we have more than one router, uh, either one in building one and either two in the building two and in either two. Uh, we have an option that we created in the other two that is telephone that uses VLAN 230. Uh, so both router one and router two uh, will make trunk and each of the router will have a VLAN. Uh, the first rule that must be made is the bridge trunk and add port. Uh, then we create an access port in adder four. Create a VLAN on uh, on the trunk interface and create a bridge access. Next, adder and enter adder four and VLAN and two hundred thirty into access bridge. If you want to make a DHCP server, if you want to make DHCP server, so if you want to create a DHCP, we make IP address on the VLAN interface for adder two. We make the trunk and uh, we enter the adder two. This configuration. In the router directly, I continue to R2. We will create an interface access bridge. So what we will do? is to access enter port the interface then we put to adder 4 and fill on 230 the access bridge then input ip to set fill on next adder 2 has the same configuration as before There are uh, three routers. First, in the router, I uh, in the router one we create bridge, strong bridge, and DHCP. Then in wireless, we just make bridge strong and the uh, bridge ports. Next, uh, we could not use the station mode, but we have to use in the station bridge mode, and so on. Ex example of usage. We want to create a VLAN from far away and do not use cable. This configuration uh, router one that I have just mentioned it. Uh, Except uh, using wireless to make a VLAN from a far distance, we can also use the tunnel. Tunnel that we use only 13 tunnel. 
uh, because villain runs in layer two. So we must seek channel that support layer two like your IP. But what I demonstrated has here is PPTP. Uh, I'll talk it has point to point channel, but in PPTP it can implement BCP and MLPPP. If BCP will allow of just defy bridge or a uh, true point uh, to point tunneling. Uh, okay, to implement BCP, we have to create a new profile PPP. Uh, and then this profile will we will use to be server also its PPP client. Next, if we don't not use MLPP, actually can be a villain. It only depends on its page router uh, with function is enable MLPPP. Uh, this is example is an example of internet or the, con the company. Router one uh, and router uh, four, in which the router one will be the VLAN server, and this VLAN for switch or router four. And to for VLAN, uh, we will use PPTP server on the router and the router PPTP client in four. Then we create a bridge trunk and then enter the bridge, uh, enter the port. Uh, in fact, here, here the, there is not a port, but we shall enter at least one port. Then in the router 4, we create a bridge trunk and bridge port, insert adder 5, and immediately create its VLAN. Uh, then make sure the router 1 and router 4 can be connected by using router. Uh, can use static routing or dynamic routing. In the router 1 and 2, we have to create a profile and MRO letter. I, uh, I will show the configuration on the next slide. This uh, configuration to fill an overpay with PPTV. Conclusion. Uh, to conclude, first I use the second method. This second method uh, I'll show also be put into the bridge interface because it easy to be manipulated. Uh, then we can also uh, that we can also this document that we want to make him to be a trunk or the be an access. Then immediately discuss the last conclusion. Uh, we do uh, we do not need to turn on MLPPP in PPP profile. So uh, thank you for your attention, and and don't forget visit Indonesia, and good evening.